Hi everyone, my name is Hernan Panegas. I am a research engineer at Hashcloak and I will be talking about distributed block building networks via knapsack of chains. As a motivation of our work, there are some successful tools for block building, like for example, MapBoost. However, the winning block builders are starting to centralize in a top few, which is not ideal if we want a, a fully decentralized network. In the block building process, uh, multiple heuristics have been used. For example, uh, the first come, first serve, some auctions and some greedy algorithms. In this work, we will tackle the problem of block building in such a way that we obtain a decentralized and a private process. We do this by considering the block building as a knapsack problem. Remember that in the knapsack problem, we have a knapsack that has certain capacity and a set, a set of objects. Uh, each object has a weight and a profit uh, if, if, if the profit if is included in the knapsack. The idea of the knapsack, the knapsack problem is to choose the correct subset of objects uh, to include in the knapsack in such a way that the total uh, weight will not surpass the knapsack capacity, but we all obtain the maximum profit, the maximum pro uh, possible profit. Now, in terms of the blockchain, we can consider the transactions uh, as objects. So, so we have a set of transactions uh, that are ready to be included in a block. Each transaction has a gas that in terms of the knapsack problem is the weight of each object. Also, each transaction has a, a profit that is the amount to be paid if the transaction is, is included into the block. The block itself is considered as a, as the knapsack. This block has a block has a block gas limit. So the gas of the transactions included in the in the block, uh, the total amount of gas will not surpass the block gas uh, limit. The idea is that a set of nodes and uh, the builders uh, will engage in, in a protocol to choose the correct uh, uh, subset of transactions to be included in, in the block. The idea to solve this problem is to consider the block building as an MPC protocol. Here, uh, each party will provide a, a set of transactions, the weight and the profit of, of each transaction. And this weight and this profit will be private uh, into the, uh, in, the, in the protocol execution. The uh, capacity of the block will be a public value. Now, to do this, we use the Fantastic Four protocol that is a general purpose MPC protocol. The idea is that we represent the algorithm for the knapsack solvers as, a, an, as an arithmetic circuit. And this arithmetic circuit is uh, used in uh, is, 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 is specified in such, a, in such a way that the protocol will execute will will evaluate this arithmetic circuit in a secure way. The Fantastic Four protocol allows four parties and one corruption. Uh, this protocol is secure against malicious or active security uh, or active adversaries. Sorry and the works over rings, which means that the underlying algebraic structure of the Fantastic Four protocol is a ring of the form C2 to the K. This protocol offers an additional uh, characteristics, characteristic that is the private robustness, which means that the protocol will end successfully and this success will not uh, affect the privacy of each node participating in the protocol. We explored three alternatives to solve the knapsack problem. One is that a traditional solver using Oblivious RAM. Another is an, uh, another solution is the Obliv an Oblivious solver without the Oblivious RAM. And uh, a third one is the greedy solver, which is an approximation. We will see more details in the next slide. 
there are three alternatives. The, the three alternatives are implemented in the MPSPIT framework, which is a framework that allows us to specify these algorithms in a high level. And then uh, it is compiled in a set of instructions that are, execute, are executed in a virtual machine. Uh, each node is like an execution of the virtual machine and uh, it's executed in a distributed secure way. Uh, more details here about the alternatives for solving the knapsack problem. Uh, first, we have a, a basic uh, solver. This basic solver is a translation of the traditional dynamic programming algorithm into the MPC setting uh, using an oblivious wrap. Remember that the dynamic programming solution for the knapsack problem uh, involves filling a matrix. We instantiate this matrix in the MPC setting using an oblivious RAM that it can be taught as a, a distributed data structure that stores secrets, secret values, but can be indexed also using secret indexes. Now, with a maximum capacity of 50,000 and 30 transactions per party, the protocol finishes in around 2.4 days, which is not practical and is very, very, very slow uh, for the current state of the blockchain parameters. The second solution is a shifting solver, which removes the oblivious RAM of the previous solver by using a shifting process between the columns of the dynamic programming matrix with a, a maximum capacity of 200,000 and 30 transactions per party. The protocol finishes in around 23 hours, which is more practical than the previous solution, but it's slow for realistic blockchain parameters. The third solution is a greedy solver that obtains an approximation of the solution. It's not an exact solution. This uh, protocol uses oblivious sorting and it, doesn't, uh, it does not need uh, an oblivious RAM. I also, different to the previous two solutions, this solution uh, does not depend on the block gas limit. Instead, this solution depends on the number of transactions, the total number of, of transactions that are being considered to be included in the block. With a maximum, with a capacity of uh, 30 million and 2,000 transactions per party, it takes around 64 seconds for the protocol to finish, which is, which is practical and fast. Some conclusions and observations here. The greedy knapsack solver is more performant, although it returns uh, uh, an approximate solution, not an exact, uh, exact one. Uh, choosing the fantastic uh, uh, four protocol speeds up the, the computation. Uh, this is because the underlying uh, algebraic structure is more is compatible with uh, the operations that uh, are predominant in the knapsack solvers, which are the comparisons. Some research, research is still needed to obtain an exact solution. Uh, for the knapsack problem using MPC in such a way that the performance is achieved using the correct uh, and practical parameters of the blockchain. There are many open questions, for example, more complex greedy conditions that uh, are present in the real world blockchain. Uh, another question is how to distribute the incentives uh, among the, the, the parties uh, involved in the protocol of uh, block building. And uh, also uh, a study and research about the special purpose and PC protocol uh, for this particular case of uh, the knapsack uh, problem. Here uh, uh, we have the link to the original blog post uh, however, we have made uh, some improvements over the results that are presented in there. Thank you very much for your attention.